In this video cast, we're going to review the parts of an osteon as well as the parts of a long bone. So what we have here is we have the model of the osteon. Remember the osteon is the structural or functional unit of bone. It's when you looked at the tissues, it make, looks like a tree. It has the rings of a tree. So this whole structure here is the osteon. In the center of each osteon, because bone is living tissue and it needs a blood supply and it needs a nerve supply, it gets it through this structure here called the central, called the central canal. Now what you'll see in this model is you'll see these little divots or these little openings. These are called lacunae. This is where the osteocytes, these living cells, are going to reside. So here you have an empty lacunae. Here you have one that's filled with an osteocyte. So this cell is an osteocyte. Now these osteocytes are living tissue and so they have to have access to a blood supply to get rid of uh, get nutrients and get rid of waste products. So what you'll see where this G is pointing to this extension, this extension where the cell will come through and get access to the central canal is called the canaliculi. It's called the canalicu canaliculi. Now each of these rings, each of these rings that make up this osteon are called the concentric lamellae. So you have these these rings these rings called the concentric lamellae. But in some areas of the model, in some areas of actual bone, you will see they're not concentric. You see these le these are actually left over from previous osteons because remember bone is constantly made and recycled. And so what happens is when a bone breaks down, some of the osteon is left and that part that's left from an old osteon is called the interstitial lamellae. So you see this here, they're not concentric, they don't make the rings but that's the interstitial lamellae and again they are the byproducts of a past osteon and you can kind of see here where the next osteon would be and again if you took that drawing out it would go around you'd have the central canal and so on so again one more time the whole structure is an osteon this is the central canal this is the lacunae these these little divots where the osteocytes which are the cells will reside these little extensions where the osteocytes get to nutrients are called canaliculi. Then your rings, you have the concentric lamellae, and then you have this interstitial lamellae, which is the remnants of old osteons. Now looking at the parts of a long bone. Now when you get this model on a test, your answer is not going to be this is the femur. But when we use this model, what we're looking for answer-wise is we're looking for the structures of the long bone. So let me go through the general areas. The ends of long bones, so you see one of them here and the other one would be down here at the other end that you can't see. That is called the epiphysis. That is called the epiphysis. The shaft of a long bone is called the diaphysis. And in the center of the diaphysis in a long bone is called the medullary cavity. That's where actually fatty tissue will be stored. Now on these models you can also see the two main types of bone. Um, here under B you can see it here along the diaphysis and also on this side that is called compact bone. Again it's called compact bone. And in the epiphysis what you see is you see this bone that looks like it has all these little holes. It kind of looks like a sponge. That is called spongy bone. And if this was a living bone and we took it and cut it, you would actually, this area would be very red because what you have in here is you have the cells, the uh, stem cells that are actually going to make your blood supply. They will reside within this spongy bone. So again, the regions, the ends are called the epiphysis. The shaft is called the diaphysis. Within the shaft, we have the medullary cavity. We have compact bone along here. And then primarily in the epiphysis, we have spongy bone. So again, you want to review the osteon, review the long bone, take the quizzes, do the worksheets. Make sure you know what you're doing before you take the test.